I have been down for a couple weeks now. I had strep throat, two double ear infections, and a massive sinus infection, and I'm just now getting my voice back. For about a week, I, I couldn't even talk. And it's good to be back in the outdoors. It's good, I've got the river behind me here. It's a beautiful day in the 80s, and I'm just excited to be back outside. I love the outdoors. But anyhow, uh, I've got the dimensions wrote down here in case uh, you want to know that part of it. And uh, because I can't remember them all, I'm sorry. But the bag is a whole. Now this will split. You can have a fanny bag, and you can also have a backpack style tackle bag. And that way, if you love river fishing like we do, plus fishing the lakes and stuff, you can have one set up for just river fishing as a fanny pack. And then you can have your tackle and your gear in for when you go out with your buddy or you go to the lake fishing, to the ponds or whatever. So it is a two bag setup if you want it that way. But I'm going to keep it as a hoe. And we'll start out as a hoe. It is a 12 by 7.5 by 21 inches high. And it's a 3 liter type style bag. Gray and lime, of course. Got the Allen logo on it right here. And then the backpack just itself without the fanny pack is 12.75 by 15 inches high at 22 liters. And then the fanny pack right down here, it is 12 by 7.5 by 6 inches high and it is 8 liters. That is it on the dimensions. Now let's talk a little bit about the backpack. I've owned a couple of fishing backpacks over the years and they were kind of shorter and more buffier, meatier, more wide. And this one here, it is really long, it fits, it will lay all the way down your back. You can see here what some super thick padding, about a half inch thick padding running down it, pillow type padding, all the way down to the bottom of it. It's got even got the big wide straps uh, on the shoulders here where they won't dig into your shoulders when you're out there fishing. And they've also got the pillow type uh, padding on them as well. And what I'm talking about here, you can just see how it lays flat down the back right here. And it's really long. It goes from your shoulders all the way down to your belt line. And you just got, it just distributes the weight really nice. And you don't have all that bulkiness up on your, uh, next to your shoulders, like a lot of other fishing bags. And you've got plenty of room for when you're casting, if you're just going to be wearing the bag, going around the shoreline, fishing ponds, wading the rivers or whatever. It is just super comfortable when you're out there fishing. Let's talk, let's talk about storage, guys. That's what sold me on this backpack right here. When I see the size of it, when I go to the lake fishing or if I'm shoreline fishing or whatever it may be, if I'm going to be fishing from top all the way down to the bottom, if I'm going to be finesse fishing, if I'm going to be using live bait, fishing for panfish, fishing for smallmouth, I like having everything with me. If the smallmouth ain't do, doing good that day, if I want to go crappie fishing, I want to have it right with me when I'm out there on the boat with my brother, uh, when I'm at the shoreline, just fishing around the banks, and this will carry it all. So we'll start out right here on the side. This is my spoons right here. This is like my hair jigs, my homemade hair jigs, my spoons, like when I'm fishing below Wolf Creek down here in Kentucky. And then right over here, you've got the same size pocket on this side. And right here, I've got all my pan fishing stuff right in here. I got my jig heads, my hair jigs, my Popeye jigs, uh, crappie, bluegill, tubes, whatever I'm gonna be fishing for in pan fish. I've got it in this box. It's right with me on the side right here. And right over here, if you're going to be like trout fishing and you got your uh, tubes for your rods, you can fit them right in here. Then you've got latches that adjust where you can secure them in right into the side. You've got one on each side for that. And then right up here, you've got a zipper that you can unzip. You've got a soft cloth right in there. You can put your car keys. You can put your cell phone. And then we'll move right to the front of the bag right here. We'll unzip the front section. You've got a big netted pocket. And then here, I've got my jig heads. I've got an extra spool of line. And then we'll move right on down in the pocket. And then right here is where I got all my sinkers. I got my barrel sinkers. I got my colored bullet weights right in here. I've got some uh, BB sinkers. I got all my sinkers uh, nicely tucked away right down here in this net pocket. Of course, I'm going to be using soft plastics, live baits, and etc. 
And right here on the front, you've got loops where you can hang like fishing pliers, whatever you need. You got uh, loops going down both sides of it right here. Then right on the front, on the shoulder straps right here, you've also got loops right here where you can hang certain things. You've got a little netted pocket right here where you can put your pliers, you can put your cell phone if you want to, or anything like that. Lay it down, now this is my favorite part right here. We'll unzip the top right here, lay it down right here, and you can just see how many 3,600 boxes you can get in here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine in right here. So we'll start out, I've got uh, crank baits. I've got like jerk baits, like floating jerk baits. I've got some deep diving crank baits in here. I have got some uh, uh, top water. Here's one of my top water boxes right here. Got some more square bill crank baits. And then I've got all my dog walkers neatly in one box right here. Different styles of dog walking top water lures. And then I've got deep diving jerk baits. I've got suspended type jerk baits all in one box right here. Uh, neatly separated from my floating type jerk baits. We'll move on down. I've got all my lipless crankbaits right in one box right here. Got them right there. And then right down here, I've got some smaller crankbaits for like when I'm smallmouth fishing, walleye fishing, and so on. And this is the smaller type crankbaits that I carry with me when I'm out there fishing. And then when we once get that opened up, you got some compartments right in the back right here. I've got some leader line. Side of it here, I got a fish stringer if we're fishing for catfish, trout, or anything like that. And we will go over, and then you got two netty pockets right in front of the big storage pocket, right in the back of the bag right here. And then, last but not least, we will unzip the fanny pack section of the bag right here. I've got my spiket pins. I've got all my fishing hooks right here, different types, worm hooks, live bait hooks, panfish, trout hooks. I've got everything stored away neatly in one of my boxes here. And this is my finesse section, this is my hook section. Uh, the next box I got, I got a Bass Mafia box right here. I've got all of my jigs in, my three quarter ounce, my quarter ounce, half ounce jigs. I've got some small hair jigs in here. So if I'm going to be doing some jig fishing, I've got them all neatly in one box here. And then last but not least, I've got my finesse section. I've got uh, whether I'm going to be fishing for bass. I've got all my floaters. I've got everything over in this section uh, for like floaters. I've got if I'm going to be using uh, drop floaters, uh, beads, swivels. I've got uh, like a syringe if I'm going to be blowing up night crawlers. You name it, I've got it in this one box neatly out of the way from everything else. And then you've also got a zipper pocket right here. You can add more storage right down into this. Now, if you want to use the fanny pack as itself, all you would have to do is just unzip this around. That will drop that off. You will have a backpack for when you're at the lake or pond. And then you will have this fanny pack right down here with these nice padded straps that strap around your waist. You can see you've got a lot of uh, adjustability on this bag here. And you can have two in one type bags right here, whether you're river fishing or lake. But guys, that is the frying pan river backpack right there. You can just see how much stuff, how much tackle I have got inside of this one backpack right here and I've got room to add more that I've not added to it yet but that is by Allen links down description guys go check them out I don't think you'll be disappointed in this backpack here and they've got a lot of other stuff for fishermen in there they got stuff for bow hunters target shooters home defense if you're using modern firearms for hunting you name it they've got shooting steels over there. they've got everything and the link, as I was saying, is byallen.com. 
They've got a lot of stuff at your local Walmart as well. And until next time, guys, I hope you subscribe to our channel. we got a lot coming down the line. Hope you give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Follow us over on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And until next time, stay safe out there on the water, guys. And we'll see you right here in the next one. Have yourself a great day.